Hi and welcome. I'm Sandy of Lolly and Sand and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me. Um, I was going to say, oh, did you have a good weekend? I think the weather was pleasant and I think we actually today, Tuesday, um, hit eight degrees. That's what my phone said. Eight degrees Celsius. Like, wow. No wonder I just wore a hoodie, wore a hoodie when I went out. Um, anyway, so tonight, let me see what I wrote. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. No, nope, let's go back. So I went away this weekend, um, for a little R&R, &R. a little R&R. You know what? <sighs> Am I relaxed? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm very relaxed. Hello. Um, oh, I see Bea's here. Hey, Bea. Hello. Um, anyway, so tonight we're going to use a set that you may or might may not have considered. It's called Conversation Bubbles. I looked at it in the mini catalog and I thought it looked really fun. So we're going to make a fun card. And then I'm going to show you a bunch of other cards that I've made. So this one requires some heat embossing. So it's going to take hopefully not too long. <laughs> um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's get started. All right. Let's flip you around. Sorry about my hand. And isn't that weird how when you go to turn it, you're like, where did the little knob thing that I just turned it with go? There it is. Oh, my gosh. Do you think I'm new in town or what? I am not. I am not new in town. Boop. Oh, wrong one. Go away. <laughs> this one. <laughs> don't hit the wrong buttons because they don't work. They don't do what you want them to do. I'm moving you forward. Now, do I have that big arm like I had last time? It doesn't look like it. And the lighting. Let's. Whoa. This arm, honest to Pete, gives me so much trouble. So you may be closer than usual. My daughter is the one that tighten it, tightens it for me because it takes um, strong hands. It does take strong hands. I'm just locating us on face. There we are. Oops. And then I closed it. So I hope everyone's wonderful. Oh, there's Marjorie. Hello. Hello. I'm going to hope that everything's working. Okay. Well, this is as good as it gets. There's my computer again. I don't like things in the way, but hey, it is what it is, right? It's not the end of the world. Okay, so here's our bundle. And this is really cool because you get all these words inside, like yum. That would be tonight. My daughter made, um, oh, she made like a very rustic cheese bread and um, messaged me and said, I saved an end piece for you. Well, you have never seen me move that fast. It's, she certainly did. She certainly did. I'm hoping that the lighting looks okay. Because it doesn't on my phone, but that means diddly, usually. Diddly squat. All right, well, let's fix her. Anyway, um, so in these bubbles you get words. But then you've got some extra words here. Just to know, love ya, sweet, which is cool. You get these, this little um, flower, a star, exclamation mark, these three hearts. It is all good. Okay, I am seeing part of the arm, so I am going to move us over just a little bit. My phone is, or my computer's trying to catch up. I think it did. We're on a bit of an angle, so things look really long that direction. Anyway, so if you get these, you need to get the you need to get the whole bundle. Get your ten percent um, because they they cut out. They each have well. Yeah, I think they do. They each have one that they cut out. But if you notice in here, see the pattern? It also They also make cool frames. Some of them have some pattern in there. And now these are two different colors just to show you. So it doesn't come out looking like this because it doesn't come out with pattern paper. But that's how they would fit together if you choose to do. Well, not that way. Um, it just looks better than white on white for visual but it's very cool. And you can use those alone. You can use these alone. So I have done a bunch of everything. And I, I really had a hard time finding a lot of cards. Because um, you know me, my inspiration, I go to Pinterest and to Instagram. And if I don't see anything, then I'm really stuck. But I decided that I did see some things I liked and that I was going to change them. So 
here we go. There's all your dies. I was going to count them ahead of time, but it actually says in the catalog how many there are, just so you know. So I also want to let you know that Celebration is still going. So if you haven't yet um, received some Celebration goodies or you haven't thought about the joining offer, I'm going to say, hmm, which one? Celebration goodies, the offer, join, and if you want Celebration goodies, place an order and get sale if you have if you have one that you've got your heart set on I was like where's my paper and the reason I say that is the joining offer is just ridiculously good um, and I've talked about it several times so I, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it but for example when you can get two hundred and twenty five dollars in product for um, $135, no shipping charge, ships free to your house, and in most provinces, no tax. Yes, <laughs> sign me up. Or you could get the mini, uh, the white or the boho blue, and that was $175. And you still, after even getting that boho blue or the mini white cutting machine, you can get... Um, you still get $225 in goodies. Like, it's just too good to, to pass up. And we have fun on our team. We really do. And because you're getting two for one, which means I joined forces with another, another demonstrator, so you get two people. Yay. All right, so here's what I have. I have got the craft paper. You know I love the craft paper. Um, more, even more than crumb cake. Um, I just, I like, I like the, the, the tone of it and I'm taking my little embossing buddy and just overdoing it, putting lots on it. Um, I did cut, this is part, this is a, like a giant conversation bubble. I'm just going to grab that die and there it is there. So that's what cut that out. Now, this is not the width of a card. Here's the back of a card. Okay. So I made my piece smaller. So this piece started at... Uh, three, well, it is three and three quarters across and then down. It's about four and a half. Um, and then I cut this. So it's going to be a little bit less once you're done. All right. I say we get embossing. So this is, this is the outline um, stamp that I'm going to use. Oops. I'm going to try not to bounce the table repetitively. And then I'm just going to stamp these down. So the reason I use the embossing buddy is because when I use the embossing powder, I want to make sure that the, um, I don't get too many little black flecks, um, on my card because, um, the embossing powder will stick. I don't know if you can see that. If I do that, I hope you can hope you can. I can't see your comments in the morning, in the morning. I can't see your comments at the moment um, because my, um, I've made this card already just today because I was away um, and um, it's in, in the way of the computer. <laughs> Good place to set it, Sandy. Okay. And I like to give that a close and like, like your other non stampin' up stamp pads, Store it upside down. Okay, so I don't have that same. I didn't buy the new tray because I, I already had this one. So um, I'm from the the old world that says if it's not broken, or actually it's the I think the expression is it ain't broke. <laughs> if it ain't broke, now you see I got some of the. Can you see that there? I will I will clean that before I get too far. Oops. Yeah, let's just put the whole container out. Why not? And I tap this and right beside me is a garbage, which I'm going to go flick for any little pieces that happen to land on here. Now, I'm not sure if this is part of this. I don't think so. So I'm just going to wipe that off, too. All right. Un momento. Okay. And for this part that I messed up, I'm just going to use my finger. You can use like a little paintbrush. Um, earlier when I was doing this, I actually brushed the corner and, you know, it was just an opportunity to put something right on top. I'm going to empty that later 
do not delay our video already. So, and I will hold it. Just double checking. There's a little spot right there. Oh, it might be a fleck in the paper, so that's okay. All right, it's going to get a little loud. Don't mind me. I'm hoping to put it in such a way that you can see it changing to shiny. And that's when you know that it's done. Well, that one's changing, so I'm aiming for the middle one, apparently. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll do the bottom ones, then I'll flip it around. I forgot my long tweezers in the other room with my paper quilling. All right, flip her around. You see how the paper's curling? That means you want to, I'll probably use a little more glue than usual. It happens when you're heat embossing. Um, I mean, pretty well I'm doing the, the page. Or it doesn't know I'm not doing the whole page, but I've definitely heated up all the paper. Alright, I'm just I'm just gonna move it around to make sure move the paper around, and make sure I got all of them. If you don't get all of them, you brush it. Um you will you will get some embossing powder on yourself. Now I did just notice that we're having some issues again with the video, which is quite annoying. And um, in the replay, it will not do that, just so you know. Alrighty, so I don't know if you heard me or not because of the, the video. Alrighty, so there's Dorothy watching from Florida. Hello, I'm I was going to say you're probably warmer than us, but eight degrees is not horrible. And there's Claire. There's Anthony. Hey, Anthony. If, all the way from the UK. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate your comments on YouTube, by the way. And everybody, I, your your comments, your shares, your likes, when you're over on um, Instagram, or not Instagram, we're over on YouTube, thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you very kindly. And there's Julie. Okay. Now I'll go back and see how my video is faring. Okay, so this card, that looks pretty plain. There's one thing you can do, and it's on the side of my desk, though, is I would kind of roll it the other direction. Um, you can do that even with this here, so I'm just going to do that real quick and kind of flatten it out. I don't want to hurt the paper too much. All right, so let's get our pieces out. Now I'm using something. Oh, wait, here we go. Let me get the pieces out. So I've made this card already, but this time we're making it in reverse. So you'll see both. And at the very end, when I show you all the cards, um, I want you to tell me if you like it I'll say this way or that way. Okay, so what I did, I wanted to show you. I'm, I'm using from, um, oh, rats, what are they called? Love for you? Love you? Love you? <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. Um, with the words, I believe it's love you, love for you, dang it, love for you die. So yes, um, that I put the adhesive sheet on the back and see that it's just a little bit of a different color. So I wanted to show you, take me taking that off and how I get that out of there. So take the words and put them somewhere safe. I always need to use something. Oh, that's a paint case again. And put out that my understanding is if if there's still things stuck in here when you take the adhesive off that will come out as well so love. let's just get those little bits out and over to the side or we'll just do it the other way oh no it's they're coming out stay on camera sandy Boy, three days away, and I'm just like, I'm like putty. 
<laughs> but I missed my grandson so much. I asked him. He's 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 not even three yet. Okay, he's getting close. And I said to him when I got home, give him a big hug. And he, I said, did you miss me? And out of the mouth of babes, nope. As in, nope. I didn't miss you. <laughs> and then he said he did. Because I think he realized that I went, oh, okay. Alrighty. So I've gone ahead and done, like, lots of die cutting. I wonder what color this card's going to be. I wanted, here's one where, when it came out of the die, it came out like this. And I went, cool. So you can see the... um. Well, it's black. I don't know if you can see the texture on it. I didn't really want that part, but if they're stuck together because I didn't roll it back and forth, that's okay with me too. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get this on here. So I cannot peel these. Well, I probably could, but I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm picking away at it. It's fuzzy. All righty. I hope my video's working because... On my computer, it's completely stopped. But we'll just keep talking anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. And I was going to have another five cards to show you, but um, when my daughter called me up for the cheese bread, well, huh, sorry, cheese bread card, cheese bread card, sorry. I so apologize. There's nothing like fresh bread out of the oven. And now we have to, of course, fight for it because, you know, Everybody wants it. All right. So it's going to hang over the edge, and that's exactly what I want to have happen. Okay. And I'm going to put some of these guys on here. And everybody's getting popped up today. You get popped up, and you get popped up. Did I put my scissors back? I did. Well done, Sandy. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and this little dude. And what I did before... Okay, I don't know the other way if you know how I do my cards. I I put stuff down, and I go, put it down, put it down, put it down. And then I take a picture. And then I move things around, and once I'm happy, then I, I just finish. But I have to take a picture because I can't remember what version number one looked like. And I, I, I'm going to assume that's typical. One conversation bubble. I think I got some... Heat embossing on the back of that one. How would I do that? Oh, because I took, because I'm taking from another sheet. There, I have to, I have to check the computer for a second and see. Are you actually working? Are we working? Oh, you're hearing me loud and clear. Thank you. You were just using this bundle this morning, Anthony. Cool. You must be late there. I think you're five hours ahead of us. It's 7 p.m. ish here. 7:19 now. Must be late. So I do appreciate you staying up. All right. Keep the hearts out of the way for now. And then that one. And I have to look at it this way. So you're seeing it flat. And I, I never get to see it that way. Now, stay down. I think I have to attach it to something to make it stay put. Alrighty. So have you seen the, what is it called? Uh, metal plate 3d embossing folder it will be with the um ready to ride set oh my gosh i don't i missed it the first time around and you think well that's kind of manly but no no it isn't all right and i'm gonna i'm gonna rough it up and i was using my fingernail earlier and um yeah midnight lovely so i'm gonna use my scissors this time be careful because these are very sharp and you could quite easily mess with it um, and cut, you know. And we certainly don't want you cutting yourself. So the way I started was like this. I just want it really messed up. I don't like... How did I do it last time? Oh, yeah. I mean, I really messed it up. So, like, I was crunching up corners. It takes a little bit of time, but it's kind of cool. And, and I kind of like it. And you know, you know the paper from this, that black with the shiny that I did a video on a little while ago that's that's the set like oh get this embossing folder okay Julie loves this embossing folder you should get this embossing folder uh-huh you should get this embossing folder because if you're using even if you're just using a little bit that doesn't you know it doesn't look like I don't know what those are supposed to be anybody <laughs> 
metal. Metal. Metal plate. Oh, I guess that's what a metal plate might look like in a garage. Car repair. All right, so that was the one way. I started then, I have a ruler. I was using it. See, I don't want it to be straight. I want it to be, like, messed up. Like, I want it to look like um, something kind of nasty. Because the cards, okay, you know my cards are usually, like, frilly and pretty and all that. Yeah, sometimes you just want to, oh, I ripped it there. So, okay, I, I meant to do that. I forget who used to say, I think that's from Saturday Night Live. I meant to do that. I could be wrong. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, little flaky flakies. All right, so we have a couple corners that are kind of messed up. This particular piece started out at um, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And look, it's not a white base this time. <gasps> I know, eh? Um, so four. This is this is real red, which I thought looked really good with the black end, and I love it with um, the craft paper. Uh, four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. And my bone folder, I don't have it yet. There it is. It's where it's supposed to be. Um, and I'm just reading a comment. Anthony's completely correct. Like, you can take, like, the most boring card, get an embossing folder, add there and on there, and you can just take a real simple card and make it look like, wow. So, yeah, you could call it a wow. That's what I would call it. You notice I might be using a little bit more glue than normal, just like I'm going to on the uh, next layer. So it's a nice narrow border the way I like it to be. Although I change it up, I do. I don't always do the same thing. Black and red, you can't go wrong. Let's get the glue off my fingers so my cards don't stick. And this, I'm gonna glue a little heavier than usual. Still not doing the center though. That's where my fingers go. Alrighty, I am gonna try to aim I know you know me. I don't aim for the middle, but I'm going to try and aim for the middle. As in centered. Like, what? Where's Sandy and what have you done with her? Oh, no. Did you just see that? That was not... I looked at it. So I just rubbed off that little bit of embossing. That's okay. That's okay. Where there's a... There's ways around that. There is. A little more glue probably wouldn't have hurt. But I'm just going to hold this for a second until it's... I don't want to rub off any more embossing in case I messed up again. Yeah, there's there's always a way to... Almost always a way. <sighs> it happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do, though, let's move that, is I'm going to start taking these hearts and putting them on. Now my fingers are good and sticky. One moment while I unstick them. Now, this is a card where I, where I looked at it and went, wowee. So if this is what I'm calling my more masculine card, um, I just want to put a little, why don't I move that, put a little dot on there. Then I, I don't want to use, you know, like my, my diamonds, uh, the rhinestones, they're not diamonds, they're rhinestones. Um, I don't want to use that. I had the little black dots on. Oh, come on. I don't usually have it gushing out. Don't gush out. I don't like shiny cards. I can fix that later. Um, so I decided on these hearts. And this is part of the... Whoa! Slow that train down a bit. Um, it's part of the set. Part in the, It's right in the bundle. You get these little hearts. And you get... There's two sets of them, so you get to make four at a time. Okay. The last one... Um, you may have guessed, is going to go right there, right on the on the mess, the little mess I made. I'm just hoping that I don't think I cut an inside for this card. No, I don't think I did. So, well, you'll get to see me cutting some paper. I need to get rid of some of that and get rid of that. All right. So this is our little way around there, the little bit of mistake right there. Ha! All right, move. <laughs> Everybody move. 
Sandy forgot something. So typical, you know, when you have it all ready that you forget something. Alrighty. So this is, I hope, because I cut my, I cut, I cut my paper in half if I know I'm going to use it. Um, I don't like to cut it. Like, let's say I only wanted a four inch piece. I don't do that. I still cut four and a quarter. So when I go and make a card, I don't, I don't, uh, make a four, a four inch card by mistake. And they are happy accidents, Anthony. Absolutely. Oh, and there's Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Now, what did I just do there? Okay. So I'm cutting it at four and an eighth by five and three. It's just like the, the uh, black piece on the card. Whoops. And I threw that on the floor. Oops. I don't know why my aim's off. I was always so good. All right. So I'm going to do the unthinkable and I'm just going to put that right in. Now, I'm not going to use, this is a brand new bottle. So I'm going to try not to squeeze so hard. Brand spanking new. Just got this delivery yesterday. And the metal embossing, metal, metal plate embossing folder. Make sure you put it on the right side. Alrighty. And in you go. And let it drop down. Wiggle time not required. My favorite. My favorite. Alrighty. So remember we I had embossed love you. Well, that's where the U is going. So take your pick tool. So if I was to recommend a couple of tools, uh, take your pick tool would be right up there at the top. Our, um, of course, our paper cutter. I've had a bunch of paper cutters and yeah, not, not, not nearly as good or straight. And I really, really do like that. And I would always say our scissors because as a lefty, a lefty, I'm left and right, but scissors are left. Um, they don't hurt my hand. And that's always been the, the thing is trying to not have your hand hurt whilst using scissors. All right. And I see Sherry has joined us. Hello, Sherry. All righty. All righty. So it's, oh, there's one little dot there and I did not put that there, but it's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Gail has joined us. All righty. The other thing, and I'm going to, my heat tool is resting on it, is the silicone sheet. You know, put the glue here. It's still going to get on my hands, regardless. But uh, this one I want to use. Oh, it did come apart. Okay, so that's really the way I want it. Oh, I apparently didn't stick that down enough. Oh, and that white thing's loose. Get on there. Get on there. I saw myself take the backing off. Already not popping it up. Okay. So love you. I thought that was just a little, little tad plain. So I am going to do something like that and slide that right underneath. So approximate area. Maybe we could do that where you could actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Stay. The wiggle time lasts. So you have to be a little more careful than me, apparently, and just make sure. Now this one's going to go straight because I just feel like it. Got glue, glue, glue. And this little guy, because I like three, we still do things in threes. So if I get too much, I really could just go like that and put it on my, uh, on the silicone sheet. Now, quite often I would be using something like tweezers, but again, I forgot them and I'm not going to put my, my fingers in that because I'll get, I will get, I don't know what direction this is facing. No, not that way. Er, er. Okay, I'm just using my fingernail to get rid of that teeny little bit of glue that I really don't want to see. Is it this red, white, and black? Like, wow. I'd say that's a pretty bold card for me. I mean, compared to last week's card with the gray. Um, yeah. <laughs> This is, you know, I never know what my mood's going to be, you know. Oh, there, I, I did it again. 
I can't, I can't rush. If I rush, I just mess up. Alrighty. I use this, I have another one of these that, that works for my um, quilling glue, which is a different glue. And um, everything comes off so nicely. Yeah. Now that's just going to dry and I'm just going to take that off when it's time. That can go. All right. Everybody attached. Good. There's the front of the card. So love you. <laughs> oh, it's fun. All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to show you the card the way I made it before the first way. And then I just want you to tell me in the comments, do you prefer this or that? So here's the difference. Still the still the craft paper, but I, I switched it around. So we have the real red base on this one with the black on top. This is the opposite. So this call, just say, do you like the red card or the black card? I'll take this as the black card because of um, the metal, emboss, metal plate embossing folder. I'll get it right. I really will. So while you're voting, I will get out the other cards. So super easy and plain. And see this really weird, really weird shape? I was, do I have them handy? I do. Oh, squeaky chair. I thought it was going to, I thought it was going to throw me on the floor there for a second. So in the love for you dies. Whoa, uh -oh, everyone's, everyone all at once. Here was this. And I had actually cut, as it goes this way, I'd cut this out because I was going to put the words on. And then I didn't. So I had it and I went, well, why don't I just use it? Because I do like, it's not a circle. It's not a square. It's something like, like kind of like a big cloud. So I decided that I would use that and just cover it up. So, I mean, I'd like to re remind myself what colors these are. Um, but I'm trying to remind in my little brain. So we have one vote. I see it. Alrighty. So there's that one. Wow, wow, wow. The reason I made the wow card is because I found that my niece and nephew are expecting their third child. All right, there's another. It's a really simple, fun fold. So this was, I was thinking for them with the the wow and the congratulations. And you know I like to do that to the um, silver, no, simply elegant trim. And then I did this one, super duper simple. Super. Super duper, super duper simple. I just used my blend, then heat emboss the thank you. The thank you and the frame are all at once, and then just die cut it. A little bit of ribbon. And this is from the uh, annual catalog. And then this one, I thought I got a little bit too slap happy with it. I had to add a little bit of black because it was so peachy, you know? so peachy but i thought that would be a great card um you know hello friend just a note and then on the inside really simple just a little bit of dsp here and i don't often put that many you know it looks like layers on it um this is the start of card number um one two three four five six i didn't finish sorry like i said the cheese bread one sorry <laughs> i will finish it though <laughs> I will finish it. So those are those. Let's just move those. And we're getting some votes in. So this is the black card. This is the red card. And the black card appears to be winning. Interesting. Interesting. I'm I'm happy with it. I have no say in it, you know. Oh, the only difference was, okay, I found this teeny little piece of twine. And that's what I didn't put on this card. But I will. And like it, the piece is about this this big, I guess. Normally I don't cut in advance, but I'm going to. And um, this isn't even stuck to the card. It's actually attached to a dimensional, which is something that we just don't do. I, I had already put it on, so I went, well, I wonder if I went like this. No, these dimensionals are a little further apart. And then, because, you know, I didn't want to put ribbon, but I could probably sneak a little trim on it there. And just a little bit more interest. And that's all we're doing. I like to separate those two and make them look kind of, is the word ratty? <laughs> a little scruffy. A little scruffy. That's it. There we go. So, yeah. There they are. So, that is... You like all of them. Marjorie. <laughs> it's okay. I like both. 
I, I did this one first saying, mm, I think I better do it the other way. I think I better try it the other way. Anyway, my friends, um, you know that I'm going to be, be back next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, that would be the 14th. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think it is. Ooh, maybe I'll have to plan something special for that day. Um, and what else? Oh, and um, I would love for you to join my team. I see two of my team members are there and they can tell you, you know, that uh, we take care of them. We're not allowed to, we are not allowed to dangle carrots and say, I'll give you this, 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 and this, because we can't do that. But I will tell you that we take care of them. Indeed. So, my friends, I will see you next Tuesday. Have yourself a wonderful week, a safe week. I hope it's warm wherever you are, even if it's winter, like us. And um, just have an enjoyable, peaceful, lovely, harmonious week. Okay, bye-bye.